I know you all have questions. Yes. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. I know you all have questions. I know that everybody's been waiting for the moment for me to come out and talk to you guys. Look, this is the beginning of the ability for me to address and defend myself. We have an indictment. We have all. We have the information that the government wants to come after me on, and I'm going to comply. I've been complying throughout this entire process. I have no desire not to comply at this point. They've been gracious in there. Now I'm going to have to go and fight to defend myself. The reality is, is it's a witch hunt because it, it, it makes no sense that in four months, four months, five months, I'm indicted. You have Joe Biden's entire family receiving. N deposits from nine nine family members receiving money from foreign from foreign destinations into their bank accounts it's been years of exposing a lot of you here have reported on them and yet no investigation is launched into them i'm gonna fight i will and i'm just going i'm getting back to that i'm gonna fight my battle i'm gonna deliver I'm going to fight the witch and I'm going to take care of clearing my name and I look forward to doing that. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I would like the opportunity for some of you guys to ask some questions in an orderly fashion and we'll start right here. Go ahead, Rachel. Why would you apply for unemployment benefits when you had a job making $120,000 a year? Rachel, this is part of my defense. This is inaccurate information and I will get to clear my name on this during the pandemic. It wasn't very clear. I don't understand where the government's getting their information, but I will present but my facts. So say that you that over, excuse me, prosecutors say that you got over $20,000 in unemployment benefits, sir. How is that acceptable? Ma'am, like I said, my employment was changed during the time. I don't understand where the government's coming from. I'll present my defense. And what last well, well, I gave you two. Go ahead. What evidence do you have that they don't have? Because it's no, oh, I, I have plenty of evidence that we will now be sharing with the government in this case to make sure that I can defend my interests. Are, are you planning on running for re-election? Yes, I am. Do you and think you'll win re-election? why should anybody believe you now? Well, like I said, I will prove myself innocent and then we'll move from there. And re-election is a very far time away from now. Go ahead. I'm sorry for blocking the $750,000. They said that you reported that wrongly. Do you have any comment to that? Well, like I said, I will be giving them all, be delivering all the finances of my company, I'm delivering all my finances to them to dispel uh, their their accusa uh, accusation against me. And again, you will not resign? I will not resign. Congressman, did you take campaign donations and use that money to buy expensive suits? No, I did not. Do you think you'll win re-election? That's not up for me to know. Elections are very tricky, and it's up to the people. I trust them to decide what's best Congressman, for them. Congressman, you've admitted to lying in the past. What, what do you think will make people believe you this time around? Well, look, like I said, uh, I've asked many times. I want to be judged by the work I do in the body, and I, I stay committed to that. Mr. Sanders, are you headed to Washington now? Yes, I am. I have to go back and vote. Tomorrow we have... Uh, one of the most consequential votes in, in this Congress, which is a border bill, and I'm very looking forward to being there to vote on it. Right now. Well, t t I'm not going to address just the Speaker, I'll address leadership. I appreciate everybody's patience with, with my presence in Congress as, you know, the media has its, its you know, ways of doing things, and, and I respect you guys. I've maintained good report with a lot of you guys. I've spoken with a lot of you guys, and I have the intention to continuing that open door. Some of you who are from the Hill know how to find me. Some of you here from the district don't have a hard time finding me. It's, it's about keeping in line of communication. So I appreciate leadership for being patient at this time and for allowing the process to play out. I think this is about innocent until proven guilty. This starts, I have my right to fight to prove my innocence as the government has the right to fight to try to uh, find me guilty in whatever charges. So I haven't been of a committee in a couple of years. If you just look at the standards of Congress, look at the Senate. Well, it's alleged, right? So it's you, so. Are you accusing me? Or are you uh, are you going to allow the process to play itself and allow me to clear my name? That's my question to you. Congress, you Congress, 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 Congress,
uh, you know, to, to defend my innocence, and I'm going to do that. And, and, Governor Hochul today said you should resign and put your district out of its misery. Will you do that? Governor Hochul is entitled to her opinion. I don't represent her. She is not my constituent, so... I saw your face in court today. Well, when it's your first time in, in experiencing something of this nature, I think everybody would show some kind of stress, right? Uh, I, I quite frankly don't believe I was stressed. I did the best I could to just keep my composure. I was I, I was fine. Um, but again, this is this has been an experience, you know, for a book or something like that. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. Here's what we'll do. I will, guys, 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 I will, uh, you see, that is information you'll never get because that is the media's, your, your intention is to go harass them and make their life miserable. You're not getting that. All right, have a good George, where's your husband? You're going to fall. You're going to fall. Watch your step. Thank you. Thank you. Step, step, step. Here we go, down. Be careful, now. Come on. Come on. Come on. George, hang on. back. How do we talk to them? If There's a mic stand back there by the front. We're trying to get to it, but your colleagues are making it difficult. Sorry. Watch your back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move. 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 Before you get to the Come on. Move back. Guys, come on. Move back. Move back. Come on. Come on. Feelings about how much he should share and discuss with his constituents. By the way, I'm also a constituent and I support him. But do you think this but is going to have any kind of for? impact if he's he's running for re-election and you're talking about his constituents? Given the indictments that were handed down, how is this going to impact his re-election campaign? Indictment is an allegation. It's nothing more. It's an allegation. That's how any case starts with an allegation. It's not any finding of any guilt or how, how will he be able to manage running for re-election and I think you uh, he's an amazing individual, Congressman Santos. Hi Martha, yeah, we just wanted to